Welcome back to the Mountain Morning Show. Very happy to have Steve Myers here from High Country Adventure. Hello, sir. Hey, how's it going? Well, it's good. It's about time we got you in our studio. Time. But I think you felt the same way about getting me out on a boat. And on yeah. the raft. Yeah, that was exactly the purpose. Let's get him out in the jungle. <laughs> well, we had fun. Uh, I, I'm excited uh, for this weekend because on our weekend show uh, on uh, Park City Television, we're highlighting High Country Adventure as one of the fun things to do uh, in Heber. And boy, uh, it, just, it, it goes beyond Heber. It right. extends beyond that for sure. Right. So uh, first of all, let's get a little history on High Country Adventure. So tell us a little bit about the place. I know you, uh, you, you were, you've been working there since your dad started it when you were just a boy. My dad started it as a snowmobile company here in Park City, up right there at the base of Guardsmen. That was in the early 80s. And then yeah. we'd always drive home to Provo, and always right by the river. And so we thought at the end of the 80s, we could do rafting in the summer. And so Why not? So it started right? 89, yeah. Was that more your idea or more dad's? Would you dad's, you, dad's. Really? Okay. <laughs> yeah. I was so only was 12. A, yeah. So he was, <laughs> he was all about the water, too. Yeah. Yeah. He was always about the outside, the outdoors, snowmobiling, ATV, river rafting, the whole gamut. Indeed. Oh, and tell me about, I just want to take a little step back for a moment to that time. What was it like, uh, you know, back in Guardsman, snowmobiling back <laughs> in the day? Those were the best. That was, uh, that was a really fun time. I remember... Lots of celebrities came through. Michael Jackson came through. Really? Tom Hanks. Yeah, it was it was it was fun. And then it was all untouched up there. There weren't any yeah. buildings. There's nothing. Was, there, there was nothing. Yeah. There was nothing. You could go for hours and up, you know, up and over to the Cottonwood Canyons. But yeah, that whole trail, the Daily West Mine Trail, nothing up there. So wow. it was that, that was like my backyard. And a big, big, <laughs> big backyard. backyard yeah. <laughs> exactly. A lot of fun. I mean, gosh, some big, long meadows out there, yep. nice rolling hills, oh, some yeah. big steeps, yep. all kinds yep. of stuff. Yep. That's fun. Yeah, no, it was great. It was a good time. So you, you transitioned from that to water, and then you guys kind of almost never went back, really. This, is that kind of how it went? Yeah, exactly. Once we started growing the rafting business, um, then the snowmobiling got sold uh, yeah. right around the time that the Olympics got announced, so the late 90s. And then it was full-time rafting, and then wow. from there, just got augmented every single year and added more activities to do from just rafting to kayaking to tubing wow. to combo trips with raft and train, raft and zip line, raft and ATV, raft and fly it Makes fish. all of it together. Yeah, we just started building, building, building. That is tremendous. Yeah. And you know, the thing that this does uh, in the process of building up like that is that you build an expertise in how to handle, uh, how to deal with, and how to uh, allow for all of that, especially for someone who's never done it before. Right, right. Uh, you, you can have a lot of faith in the fact that you know that when you go out rafting in what can sometimes be dangerous right. waters, right. Uh, that you're doing it with somebody who knows what the heck they're doing out there. Right, I mean, that's how it started. We got our experience, and then we started hiring guides yeah. and making sure that they either had their experience or we train them to have experience, but we go through, you know, all the rules and regulations that the state requires, have to get first aid CPR, have to get a guide license, and then, you know, we're always training, making sure, you know, everything's tip top. Well, you know, I felt real comfortable out there because I knew when I saw that we had the proper type of uh, flotation devices yeah. with the you know the flap right. to protect your head and exactly. the, all the things that you know uh, are, are separate you from some of the other places I've been and seen <laughs> and some of the other things I've done I'm like right. yeah I didn't feel too safe on that one but on yours I, I really did and it didn't it, it gave me a lot of courage yeah which I think is an important thing because we were doing some stuff that was class two class three yeah. right and right. you guys do that all the time right Right, yeah, just like you said, we the, our number one goal is to make sure everyone's safe, you know. Yeah. We want to have everyone safe, have a fun trip, and that's why, you know, like I was saying, we follow everything, but, you Safety know, that's why. first, what, fun, second, right exactly. there, though. So. Right there. Boy, and I'll tell you the fun <laughs> part. <laughs> okay, so it was pretty cool. You can see in the photos here, uh, this is the, the tame part of the trip, but uh, there were a couple of moments here where we put in, uh, in places where, uh, you know, we're like, um, that's a drop-off, dude. Are we going underneath that? <laughs> and you're like, no, we're going over it. <laughs> what? <laughs> like, I, I still, <laughs> I'm still a little shocked at a couple of the spots that we were, that you found for us to take off at. Um, super fun. Uh, in fact, you, you told me, and I didn't, the dynamics of 
of, of rafting is a lot different than what I know, which is flying, right? Right, right. Um, I had no idea that if I was at the nose of this boat going over the, you know, over the precipice, that I was going to be probably in better shape than if I was in the back. <laughs> right. <laughs> I'm going to get a lot more wet, <laughs> right. but I'm coming up instead of going down, which right. is kind of a different thought than I had in my head. Right. But, oh, my gosh, you were right. <laughs> I had the best time. It was a good way to get to, to stay cool. Yeah. Yeah, and especially now that it's getting, you know, down in the valley, down by Provo, it's been almost close to 100. Yeah. I mean, it's been so hot, so getting to the water is getting the perfect river. way to relax and cool off. And and like you and I talked about, we, we found a way to make it safe for everyone yeah. of all ages from Kids. little tiny kids to older. We do a trip every year where we take handicapped people literally from their wheelchairs into the water, make wow. sure everyone has a safe, fun trip. That's great. So, uh, of course, coming with that is the, the types of places we go. So the Provo, kind of a float trip, uh, mm -hmm. nice and slow, a good place for somebody who's not been out before if you have kids. Exactly. A lot right. of tourists come in from Park City that have never been to the river before. You know? Sure. You live here, you get it. Like You've got people from even all over the world that have never done a river before. So that's a great starter river, the Provo, yeah. along with the scenery. It's amazing. Yeah. But, yeah, perfect introduction to show their kids. And even there's adults who are in their 30s, 40s, 50s who have never been on a water before, wow. been on a river. So Pro is a great place to start. All right. And then we went, uh, where did we go next? And why is this much better? And then uh, the other. Excitement standpoint. Right. Yeah. You obviously get people that have done stuff before. They're looking for more adventure. So that's why we went to the Weber River up in um, Weber Canyon up there by the town of Morgan. And it's a four-hour stretch, but at the wow. end, like you saw, there were those three class three man-made drops, which yeah. are epic. insane. Really they epic. really are yeah. big. Yeah, I, I still, big. you know, you said they're man-made, and you know, you kind of tell that. Right. Um, but the same, and, and I guess the, the part that comes along with that is just saying, "Gee, are we really supposed to? Right. Like, since it's man-made, <laughs> is it really a good idea to go off this?" And he's exactly. like, "Yeah, come on, come on." Yeah, the first time I ever did them was <laughs> six years ago during a real high water year, and I thought the same thing to you. To you. I got to it, and I'm like, okay, so we go around this, right? right. And then <laughs> no. you actually do it, and it's, oh my gosh, it is so fun. But we trained and trained and trained to make sure, you know, we can do it properly. Well, and you got a, you got the right kind of boat for it, you're, plus you're back there with the oars and you, your ability to steer and control, not only that, but also even to go upstream. Mm -hmm. I was pretty impressed. Yeah. I mean, you guys don't have to make, there's not a lot of effort to go upstream. Yeah. That particular section where the drops are, because of the man-made uh, dams right there, it, does, it has stopped the current, so you can go upstream, adjust, get all set up. Then go over. And then line up and, and hit it. Yeah. yeah. Unlike the times <laughs> when I did it when I was a kid. Right. Not quite as lined up as I'd like to have been. You don't have time to set up. You just, <laughs> you you're just in go. It. Exactly. <laughs> you're in it. You want to go front, you know, you want to get that front of that uh, uh, that boat going the over the edge over, first. Yeah. That's exactly. a good plan. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> what a great time that we had. And this is typical. Uh, be, you know, these opportunities are typical for people who come into town or people here. Uh, they're going to have that kind of a good time really every time they go out in the water. Right. Right, I mean, we just know, we've, we've been watching people, you know, since the snowmobile days and how it just changes everything, you know, that's memories they'll have for the rest of yeah. their life. And now with the digital era, you, everyone can take pictures and film it and remember. And everybody it. was. And everybody was. You saw. And everybody was. So, yeah, that's, that's my favorite part of it is to see people's eyes go huge, like, oh my gosh, this was, I'll never forget this. Yeah, you know. you're probably in a photo on a mantle of an awful lot of homes. <laughs> I think, you think so. about that. That's kind of an interesting situation yeah, to be funny. there, but yeah, way fun for sure. <laughs> High Country Adventure, talk to me about how people can learn more about getting out with you guys uh, and set up a trip for themselves. Uh, yeah, you can jump on our website at highcountryadventure.com. Um, it has everything right there. Any questions you might have, it has a description of everything we offer. It has the dates, the times. Right. And then when you're ready to reserve, you can just book it right there, enter in all your info. You can pay right there. And then you can it, do groups if you want, right? Groups, yeah, you get group discount. Anybody, okay. uh, any groups of 10 or more, it automatically punches in your, your discount. That's um, That's really terrific. And then if for some reason you're not able to work it out right there, you can call us. Phone number's on there, 801-224-2500. 
But you know, majority of people, it's super easy. Get online, and you can see every single one of our combo trips, every single, you know, on both rivers, Provo and the Weber. And, see if, and book it right there. I'm telling you, I want to get back out right away because we had Let's a great right time. Now. Yeah, we, we could leave. I think Chelsea can handle the rest of the show. It was sure a lot, a lot yeah. of fun out with High Country Adventure. Make sure you stay uh, tuned here to Park State Television, especially this weekend when you could check out all of the fun that we had rafting uh, on uh, the Weber as well as the Provo with uh, Steve Myers and High Country Adventures. And plan your own trip. You're going to have a great time out there yourself. We had a lot more coming up here on the Mountain Morning Show. We're taking a break. And on the other side of this hour, news and more, it's Park City Television.